Hi, I'm Oscar. Welcome to another How with ServiceNow. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how easy you can format date and time using, of course, the Glide Day Time API. First, we need to understand that set display value from the Glide Day Time leverages the simple date format class from Java. This class supports date and time patterns using letters from A to C. The unquote A to C and single quotes compound the string pattern to convert date to text by formatting or text to date by parsing. The letters in this table are defined to be used to build the patterns. All right, let's see how it looks on the ServiceNow instance. So we're gonna use the scripts background in order to run some code um, for these examples on formatting and parsing date and time. So I'm, I have a predefined code that I will share with you under this uh, video in the description. So you can easily copy and, and test it yourself in your own instance. So I'm gonna run this script and then I will get the output for each and every uh, example. On the first example, so we're using the current user uh, uh, session time zone, which is the central time. Um, and these are the dates we are getting. So even though that on the glide day time um, parameter, we have a different date in the set display value, the first uh, parameter is the new date I want to actually parse. And then I'm specifying the format in which this date is built. Then the next thing what I do is just to print the value for that uh, glide day time um, object. So that's what I get. 1983, May 22nd and it's three o'clock. Remember, it's, um, it is picking up from the time zone of the system. In the example number two, we are having the glide date, and now we're formatting in two different types, right? So we want to print in a specific format, and the first one is just uh, the simple format we all know, which is the year, month, date, hours, minutes, and seconds. But the second one, it has the month, the full name of the month, of course, the day, the year, and the time. So that's why we have January 14, and which is um, on the default format is 2023, 0114. On the example number three, we're using local time, okay? So different from the very first one. So when we are using local time, and then we want to print in that specific format or the standard format, that's what we got, okay? So on the example number three, we're actually getting the 1970, January 1st. That's what we get. In the example number four, we want to parse a date, which is very odd to have. It has the year, the month, and the date, but there are no um, dashes or anything in between. It's just like a big number. And then we have the time, and that's what we get in the example number four. It is well parsed, um, October 3rd and 2015. In the example number five, um, we're actually getting the full a date that we want to parse. So it's Friday, August 18, 2017, 8 a.m. And that's what we have, the day name in week, that's the letter E, and three M's refer to the entire month name, fully month name. Then we have the dates, the years. K is the hour in a.m. p.m. from 0 to 11. Then we have the minutes. And of course, weather depending we have a.m. or p.m. 
and this is example number five and that's exactly what we are getting in the example number six we're getting the current date and then we're getting two formats for this one and the first one we want the day name but we just wanted uh, not the full name but just three letters that's what we get sad for saturday then of course we have the day number and then the month as well represented with just three letters that's why we got jan and on the second one we get we're getting the full name of the day which is saturday 14 and the full month name using uh, more than three uh, letters m that's how we can get it and the example number seven this is something very cool that uh, most of people would want it to know and understand how can we determine if a given date we have a weekday or a weekend right saturday or sunday or is monday to friday with this simple code you can actually know that through the glide date then we can get the format by using the name of the day in the week right so we get the name we use a switch if it's saturday or sunday then we say is weekend true or is weekday is false and the other way around and this is how easily we can identify if a given day it's a weekday or it's a weekend saturday or sunday and that's exactly what we have in the example number seven now you know how easy you can parse or format dates and time within service now so whether you want to parse or format using code remember that you can leverage the import set and specifically the, the the transfer maps because on the transfer maps when you are actually mapping the field that you want to transfer on the target table whenever you pick up the target field and if the field is a date uh, field and then you would get to see the date format and out of the box you will see the standard date format and this is exactly the one that you can modify change accordingly on how you are actually importing the data or what exactly is the data that you are uh, getting from the source right which could be in a different format it could have the full month name or the full day of the week and then you can define here exactly the, the format that you will need in order to parse and convert that string, that, that text, into the date in the target field. I hope you can put in practice these formats that you have learned and how you can implement formatting and parsing of the text to create or uh, format dates and time. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.